and obviously they want innovation and creativity. But like Mike said, what happens is you're, you're taking money away from public schools. But it, but you know, as far as charter schools or magnet schools, whatever you want to call it, I'm for innovation, I'm for creativity. And if someone came to me and said, hey, I've got a charter school, and they, they've talked to the superintendents, they've talked to the administrators, they've talked to the principals in both schools, and everyone's on board, and they said, guys, school boards, th this is a great plan for our school, for our community, then yeah, I'd be for something like that. But I'm not going to be for, for a program or a charter school where somebody basically hands it on their desk and they get blindsided and say, hey, by the way, charter school's coming. you got 90 days to provide feedback on that. And, you know, we talk about empowering teachers, empowering people to make decisions. Well, these teachers and administrators and superintendents, I mean, they're the experts. We get, we as business leaders, as community leaders, we, we go in front of them and say, no, you're not smart enough, you don't know what you're doing, let me, let me tell you how to do this thing. And so, you know, I think if they had went to the superintendents and they went to the administrators and principals and said, hey, what, what do you guys want to do? What, what's, what's a program you think that would help? And I think if you got the buy-in from both school systems, from both superintendents, I think you get some positive feedback. And maybe there is a charter school or a magnet school. You know, maybe you set up a school for, for gifted kids or you set up a school, I'm working, and I've got an idea right now, I'm trying to see what I think it could help the bottom 30% of our kids here in Lowndes County, and it's, it's through that Becca program. You know, you ask 90% of the business leaders in this community, and they don't even know what Becca is. Well, it's a great program with a partnership with BSU and Velasa High School, and they won a national award, the Chris McCullough Award, and a lot of people here in Velasa don't even know what it is. And that, that program is helping these underprivileged kids succeed, whereas they would fail out with the Velasa City School System. They're, they're excelling, they're doing well, and they're, you know, getting into BSU and having 60, uh, 60 credit hours through BSU. So I mean, you take a program like that, and you implement it countywide, and you get the buy-in for both school boards, for both superintendents, and it's something that they're in interested in, something they think that'll work, and yeah, I think that'd be something I'd be interested in doing, but I'm not interested in a charter school for someone that's just saying, hey, I'm, you got a couple of parents and families that are unhappy with their school, and hey, let's go start a charter school. <laughs> Charter schools were started way back in like 